Yeah, I mean, the gangplank is risky, especially when you start oh! playing stop oh! like oh! oh! Come on! Okay, okay. Throw it over. Look for G2 to make Pelea's bot side, but right now it's Fnatic that want to do the same. Looking for the play, the double knocker comes out. Reckless underneath the tower, perks the first of all. Nemesis gets it. Promise you will follow up shortly after. Now, Yankos could come in. Perks had just also used his teleport to get back to lane relatively shortly before that as well. So there's no chance for him to make up in CS as Wonder. Whippo so what? low. Wonder just takes him out. I mean, Wonder's had his number the entire time, but Whippo couldn't get away. Here comes the Requiem. It's enough. Rocks up, presses R, gets his second kill. Oh. Coming in from Hillisang was beautifully set. Oh, Cap's caught out. Hillisang ignited. Is he going to take it? While Perks continues to fall at a deficit down towards the bottom lane, 40 CS is the difference. There. I mean, there's 40 CS in the bottom lane, as you say, as Rectus gets the advantage and the, the dragon goes down. But you have oh, to look something, Ender. You were saying before we even came into the game was, ooh, Caps. Nemesis with a great long range stun there from the flawless duet. Promised you coming in as well. Knocked up straight away. Charmed up as well. We'll pop the ultimate. Oh, dodges away from the Vanguard's edge. On a knife edge for Promise Q. Requiem. Wait for the ultimate to time out. That's a kill. Another one back to the fence. And it's perfect because he's actually just showing up Yankos in this match. You look at how he's been able to impact early games. This game, maybe not quite as much on the card as he's picking up some kills with the ultimate. But you look at level two tower dives on the Nocturne as Broxa here. He has completely leveled up his game. And it's like fighting here. The Deathmark comes out onto him. The Guardian will keep him alive just for the moment. Deathmark still proc. Not enough damage. And the Kalei from Reckless straight onto Caps. Caps dodges back. Can he dodge away from his former teammates? And the Sang still has the chase, has the flash. Jump straight in. Oh. Good night, sweet prince. You can change teams. Time G2 have sent three or more members towards the top side to try and get a kill onto Whippo. He has not been caught out a single and gold lead. Once again, Whippo looking to be dove under the tower. And Brush comes out. There's the death mark used by Caps straight away. Whippo, not many places for him to go up and back underneath his last tower. Caps jumps back and Whippo still alive here. Caps couldn't go behind the tower. Nemesis actually has a great flank position off here. Perks chased out by Hillisang. Lands the pet fine gaze. Hillisang's gonna be taking up the tower. A couple of shots comes out. Reckless on his way in though. Perks flashes away. There's my asthma. Reckless can just chase them down. The Requiem will definitely be enough. Goodbye to Perks and Caps now. Dodging around as much as you can, but your fancy feet might not save you for too long. Nemesis jumps in. The ignite takes away. And Fnatic are eight kills to one up. 15 minutes into this game. They are dismantling. And it is across the board. There are advantages except for Bwipo, the poor man up in the top lane. He's had a great second half of the split, but he's also the rest of Fnatic. He's at 7.1k gold to the 7.3 and 7.2 of Brox and Reckless. He has now, but there are four other members of Fnatic that are just as strong as he is, and they're looking to push in the top tier too. Yeah, and notice what Fnaticers are doing, right? They're moving as sort of a four-man roaming squad through this top side of the jungle. Just eliminate turret. The teleport to join the fight. Promise Cooper's in the ward. 2,000 HP left on the Baron. Yankos has to flash in his oh. But Reckless secures it! You can't out smite the Lucian! They get the kill on Yakos as well! And they're gonna follow it up with a little bit more. The Requiem comes out. Caps ignited to his doom. And Fnatic get two. They get the Baron. And they get everything they wanted. Massive play from Fnatic. The confidence to make that kind of a play. Oh! oh dodge the petrifying gaze from Perks! He stared the other ADK right in the eyes and said, get the hell back to mid lane. Fnatic just continue to outplay G2. Reckless out absolutely styled on perks right now and now with an open base fanatic they're going to be looking to take an inhibitor the inhibitor at least is going to go down yankos about to respawn caps on his way up as well get back to base one though stealing away the razor beaks he can't get back to save the inhibitor thousand gold lead and then knocking on the doors of these tier two towers and look at this super stacked minion wave here that fanatic have built up as well so many ranged minions so many melees as well just sort of so kept even in gold he has the death cap but i don't know if it's enough as an engage begin Yankos jumps in, he's forced out straight away. Down to about 100 HP, the flawless Juliet hits onto Caps. Nemesis, though, jumped up with the death mark. Caps jumping around as much as he can. Whipper will take him out, but Nemesis falls as well. And now Hillis hanging with the charm, with the engage. Promise you has to flash away. Fnatic can continue to push in. The Railwall comes out, but the Requiem's gonna follow them to their base. Forced oh. away! <laughs> That's a hell of a lot of damage as Fnatic get the second inhibitor of the game. Maybe even look for the win here, because Caps is still down his dead. Hillisang will get the Baron get to a point where they can rely on their scaling, but again, Fnatic not slowing down. They're sieging on top. They force Perks back. Yankos eats off the culling surfs, used as well by Perks. Minion waves pushing in in the other side. Lays the Vanguard's edge, comes out. Hillisang with a double charm, gets the third as well. As they all just try and dive the tower, but Reckless almost goes down. Promise Q there. Caps fighting against Whipple down towards the bottom side. Has to flash away. The Death Mark will get him, and they get another kill underneath the tower. G2 has somehow turned it around. The Requiem comes out. Is it going to be enough? Caps trying to kill him before oh. he gets up. And Caps will fall. 
Popovisky will follow shortly after. It's a double for Broxa and still Fnatica in this fight. Broxa is able to turn it around on the back with the Requiem, but it's still a two versus two Fnatic. They want this turret so desperately. Can Perks and Wonder do anything? Not really, because Wonder has to defend against the super minions on the base. Never saying just tanking up the tower shots. Perks, they're trying to turn it back around onto Broxa, but doesn't have the ultimate, so can't get the steal. This is it, Yankos. Do or die. If you steal this, you can keep the hopes of G2 alive. Here we go. He's on the blast code. Reckless there as well. He blast codes away. He's giving it up. That's the Baron. Fnatic get it. 28 minutes in. It's the second Baron of the game. And cut down G2 where they stand. When you listen to G2 comms after they beat Fnatic earlier in the split, they said that was personal. Caps dominated on the Zoe. 5-1-2. Now 1-6-1 on this Zed. It feels pretty personal from Fnatic this time. 8,000 gold ahead. They're pushing in for these inhibitors. And... All five members strong. They're going to try and push G2 back towards their own base. Reckless jumps oh. in, caught out with the petrifying gaze, but no one can catch him. Nemesis down to about half HP immediately. The Requiem used. No one can get to the back line, and that will be a lot of damage coming out from Boxer, but no one has fallen yet. Fnatic regroup, reset. Nemesis has to back away. Wonder oh. with a lot of damage. Reckless jumped up by Caps. Can he do it? The death mark isn't enough to pop. His bomb already carry not quite, but they force Fnatic back once again. They can hold the line. All three inhibitors have respawned. A Baron empowered. Fanatic, where they just can't walk up to G2. Cannonball used Perks, hits the Petra against Promise Cube jumps in as well, but it's only Nemesis they've caught out, and Perks already down to half HP. Brooks are now pushing forward with the rest of Fnatic. They just want the inhibitor. They can push up towards the top side as well. Caps unable to get on the back line of that fight, and now Fnatic have broken open that inhibitor line once again. Quickness was used by Hilasang, though, in G2. They're not going to fight over it. They give up both their inhibs. And the problem for G2 is they have themselves, but the flank is here from Promise Cube. It's making it very hard for Fnatic to step up. Caps jumps oh. away. Hilasang with the engage. Straight onto the back line. Wonder goes golden. What can Promise Cube do? He can't, 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 catches the out. Wonder still there, still alive, Nemesis as well. Reckless has the death mark popping. It's not gonna be enough damage, but here comes the Requiem. Wonder still alive, the rest of G2 still alive as well. But maybe the inhibitor will fall pretty soon afterwards. Whipple jumping in, Perks goes golden. Can they take the inhibitor in time? Because Wonder's back up, they force them off. G2 still holding onto their base, but it's a 4v3. Yankos is very low. The next towers are the target for those super minions. Fnatic have the time now to get the inhibitor. G2, they're running back to the foundation of the castle. He's gotta pull the trigger straight away. Hilasang here, trying to catch up Perks, but can't quite get there. Promise Cube gets a three-man knock of Wonder and Yankos is focusing down the Baron. 8,000 HP This is on quick. It. There's a fight up towards the other side, though, because Wimmer has the teleport. Caps is trying to keep him alive. There's 3,000 HP on the Baron. Fnatic, can they get in? Can Brock to do the steal again? Get the Baron! G2 get the Baron! Whipper forced away as well, but here comes the engagement. Hilasang locked up. He's dead! And they get the shot Nemesis down. is here! And the Kali comes out! Nemesis here as well! Promise can still a 4 Brox has the back of his oh! Oh! He gets the kill! Here comes the back on edge! He gets the shot! Reckless shot in! Reckless shot in to his eyes! And now Nemesis there as well! We're going to tell him all again! The base! The base! Gans is trying to defend the base! Wonder gets the triple kill! Nemesis onto Yankos! They need to get out! The base! He wants the it! Tenable. He wants it! Nemesis is trying to keep him around! Yankos is so low! The Tenable gets out! Taken out as well. The base is still alive, and G2 survive in this game. This is the greatest game ever. G2 defend the base. And the, the caps was winning, <laughs> and look how the tides have turned, Europe. You guys can turn that around. Those spamming chat, FNC. If you think Fnatic will take the win, G2 to start up the Baron. They are gonna force Yankos to come into the That's base. quick. Looking for the steal already. It's gone though. Fnatic get their second Baron, third Baron of the game. To look for the team fight before the objective goes down. It's getting low. Yankos has to. Make a move. 6,000 HP left on the back, and the realm walk coming out as well. They're just going onto the back. They're looking. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! A great flag! G2! The perfect team fight! They take it all! They take down three! They even get the chase down as well! The elder will be in their eyes as Fnatic just die one by one! G2 absolutely destroy Fnatic in the bot lane. River Hillisang is doing what he can to run into the base, but Yankos is on the prowl. It's enough. It's oh, not going to do it. Night. He got the edge of Night Shield just in time. Hillisang still trying to take down the inhibitor. Can he get it with these bound up minions? The Elder Dragon, not the target. G2 pushing him mid. Hillisang still there on the inhibitor. Is he actually going to be able to do too much here with the Ignite? He knocks that comes up. He's just looking for the inhibitor. Forget about the bot lane. Look at the mid lane. There are two members of G2 pushing in right now. The death timers are at 20 seconds. I don't know if G2 can look to end There's the game no right now. Way, Vettius, there's no way they do this. They were 8,000 gold behind. They had nothing. 15 it's minutes. Beautiful spot there. And uh, I was sitting to myself, how did Promise Q get here? How is he creating the flag? Because it's already been started up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Baron going. The double mountains are the target. That's gone. Oh, G2 pushing mid. They have. They're round warping. They're round warping in. 
G2 are no. going into the base, the power buff though. They can get the recalls. How many can they stop? G2, you've got to stop them all. You've got to stop them all. They're in the base. G2 are looking for the win. Can they pull it off? The round warp. Once again, the red wheel goes out. They play through the next hit. Oh, no. 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 no way. The next hit. Towers at the one side. G2, get the first one. They're reckless and the side. Get in the back door. Oh, oh my God. God. Let's go. Flipping way. You can do that to them. Fanatic! It looked like they were gonna end the game. G2, they were on the Nexus. We thought that was it, but they made the split second decision to just rush the Nexus. The inhibitor. It was it was literally respawning. There was like no time in it. That is the best single call I think I have ever seen in League of Legends. Getting the Baron. Trying to get out, trying to get back, and then be like, no, screw it. They want to backdoor of us. We can do exactly the same thing to them. You can't practice that. <laughs> These teams, in the split second, in the late game, at the 50-minute mark, made the call. G